What's called the Bakken Formation is a geological region that stretches from Canada into western North Dakota, eastern Montana, and northwestern South Dakota. It was known to contain oil for a long time, but it wasn't known how much. But coming in April, the U.S. Geological Survey is expected to release a report saying that the Bakken Formation contains somewhere between 150 and 500 billion barrels of oil. That's astounding, considering that would be more than 10 times the amount of oil on Alaska's north slope and an amount that could equal or exceed the oil reserves under Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabian reserves are estimated at 260 billion barrels. That amount of oil contained within the boundaries of the United States would have huge implications for international politics and for the domestic economy. Because currently we're producing about 8.5 million barrels per day. We're consuming almost 21 million barrels per day. So our dependence on foreign oil is growing year by year. So any type of discovery, particularly if it's in this part of the country, is going to have tremendous significance. Oil was first discovered in the Bakken Formation in the 1950s. So if it was known that the Bakken Formation contained oil, why did it take so long to find out how much? The answer is that it took 21st century technology to give us the first hint of the amount of oil. It also gave us the first cost-effective ways to get it out. Now, from what I'm told, the Bakken Formation is a fairly thin formation about 4,000 to 5,000 feet below the surface. It contains many small pockets of oil. You can drill down through it and come up with nothing. But if you drill in from the side, horizontally, you increase your chances of running into several of those small pockets of oil. Oil wells using the new technology are already producing encouraging results. A new well sunk last year near Partial, North Dakota, is already making millionaires out of the ranchers living nearby. Officials with the U.S. Geological Survey are being very tight-lipped about the details of the upcoming report. There's obviously a lot riding on news with implications as far-reaching as this, and it's expected that the USGS may actually underplay the amount of oil that's there. But if the Bakken oil fields produce anywhere near the estimates, it could be an economic bonanza for the Northern Plains and for South Dakota. There are going to be pipelines, there will be refineries in this area or larger general area, there will also have to be infrastructure building, enormous construction. There'll be a multiplier effect. Now, it's important to keep in mind that it may be years before any of this has an appreciable economic impact. The wells have to be drilled, the pipelines have to be built, the refineries have to be built. But if the early reports are true, then what's lying beneath the plains of western North Dakota and northwest South Dakota could have enormous economic potential for the future. Al Van Zee, Black Hills Fox News.